Your Honor, I would like to call Senior Private McLean to the floor. Mr. McLean, will you tell us how you felt when you heard that Mr. Pignetti had been accused of stealing gas from your car? I was relieved. Why would you be relieved? Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Overruled. Why would you be relieved? Well, if it had been any other car, then Mr. Pignetti might well have been guilty of stealing. But in our room, we share. We borrow from each other. There's no way it could have been stealing. Then, as far as you're concerned, Mr. Pignetti had a kind of implicit permission to take gas from your car. Take anything. It was understood. Then you, as the so-called victim in this case, state that nothing was stolen from you. Nothing. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Miss it down. Well, I just have one or two questions for Mr. McLean. Now, Mr. McLean, I'm sure that we're all touched by the communal arrangements between yourself and your roommates, but they're not really pertinent to this case. What we want to know is, is did you or did you not give Mr. Pignetti specific permission to take gas from your car on this specific night? Well, not specific permission, but we had a... Thank you, Mr. McLean. Yeah, but we had an Thank ongoing... Thank you, Mr. McLean. You may sit down. Yeah, but... You may sit down, Mr. McLean. <clears throat> Your Honor, I would like to call Cadet Dante Pignetti to the stand. Well, Mr. Rowland, you're aware, and I'm sure the defense counsel is aware, that no cadet is compelled to bear witness in a case against himself. I, I, I don't mind talking. Mr. Pignetti, you understand? I understand. Proceed. Mr. Pignetti, you must be very impressed by the loyalty of your friends. I am. I think we all are. I think all of us are willing to forgive a friend who's transgressed against us. It's human nature. But the Institute's code of honor embodies an ideal that transcends human nature. Not all of us can live up to it, but all of us have to try. Your Honor, I object. The prosecution is making a speech. I'm merely trying to point out, Your Honor, that what Mr. McLean feels now about Mr. Pignetti's action is not pertinent here. The honor manual defines stealing as taking property without due authority. Now, goodwill between roommates does not constitute due authority. Your Honor, what is your question, Mr. Rowland? I will simply ask Mr. Pignetti the question that I asked Mr. McLean. Mr. Pignetti, did you or did you not receive specific permission to take gas from Mr. McLean's car? Well, I... I... It's a very simple question, Mr. Pignetti. Yes or no will suffice. No. No! Gentlemen, we'll adjourn. Gentlemen. At 0200 hours, this court delivered to General Durrell a verdict of guilty in the case of Cadet Dante Pignetti. Accompanying the verdict was a strong recommendation for leniency. The recommendation for leniency was denied. 
This court will reconvene on the parade ground in two hours for final action. Mr. St. Croix, as defense counsel, you will confiscate institute property. What does he mean, institute property? You gotta give him your ring. No! Pig, give him the ring. No, it's mine, okay? Give him the goddamn ring. <laughs>